I can actually say without exaggerating and coming in with some cap, as the kids say, because I'm just keeping it real and back as a steel. I have actually quit Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I can't play the game. Because when I was two boxing, man, when I was reverse boosting, when I was getting easier lobbies, circumventing this skill-based matchmaking, engagement optimization matchmakings, these skill-based damage manipulation, hit registration, desync, packet burst, ricochet, anti-cheat, which is nothing more than just a system to implement all the aforementioned bullshit that's in this game, I could enjoy myself. But trying to play this game straight up is insufferable. Once you go to the two box side, you can never go back because you see how actual shit and how bad this game was. Like as if I didn't know before that it was bad, but you really, really don't know how bad it is. So I just want to put it out there. Really, I have quit. I've tried to play it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Maybe I'll go back to the older Call of Duties where there's less sweats and less skill based matchmaking and just regular matchmaking. But until further notice, I'm done with playing any Call of Duty going forward. It's two boxes in this patch. There's no way to circumvent all this nonsense. Just want to put it out there. Full honesty, full disclosure, keeping a real pack in the steel. Your ghost of eight, your boy, the number one Call of Duty gave me a stub an athlete, balls deep only halfway in, is fucking done with this. Now, you wonder why we've gotten to this point. You wonder why we're at this situation where we're making video games with AI, with six-fingered Santa Clauses, firing, that's right, firing the voice actors for the zombies and using AI voice generations to replace them because they don't want to give them a proper wage. They were asking for more money. These zombie actors were asking for a few more bucks considering that Activision is a zillion dollar corporation and they weren't getting paid enough for their voice acting skills. So Activision, Xbox, whatever Treyarch decided to tell them to pound sand, kick rocks and fired them. And now they're going to be using AI generated voices. And they actually did in the new zombies map, the castle one. And guys, I think I figured out why Black Ops 6 is complete and utter shit. Hi, I'm Brittany Perello, senior producer at Treyarch and I'm a vegan. Hi bro, I carry away. Hey, I brought you over at Treyarch. Hi, you'd like to say communism is good. Hey. I'm Rachel Rindo. I hate penis. I hate white men. Black Lives Matter. George Floyd's a hero. Kamala Harris 2024. You wonder why the battle pass tears all the operators. The number one unlock after spending all that money and time and effort to unlock the battle pass. You get to the end and the most amazing skin is some black lesbian with pink hair. Like, it's not even a fucking joke. That's like a meme, but it's not a meme. It's actually real. Like, that's what we're doing here in Call of Duty. This is why, full honesty, we cannot have women in any positions of authority or decision making that affects anybody else but themselves. Honestly, the worst thing we ever did was give these women voting rights and empowerment in the workplace, which was nothing more. Honestly, ladies, you want to know what really was going on. The reason why they tried to empower you to get into the workforce and stop being actual caregivers and mothers, which are important to raising a healthy society and kids is having a strong mother as well at home taking care of the kids. The reason why they got you all into the workforce is because nothing more than you're just another cog in the wheel paying taxes instead of at home, not generating any income for the GDP and all the taxes for the government that they can use to send over to Ukraine. But this game is beyond trash and you look at the people working on the game and you need to go no further and you wonder why the decisions being made are crazy and you're thinking to yourself what the fuck is going on here like what why we have this type of stupid stuff in this game why we have all these ridiculous bundles why do we have ridiculous maps and ridiculous decisions that just seem to undermine the actual fun aspect of the game and you see who's working on the game 
And yes, there are guys who are working on this game, and I think the majority of the people at the studio are guys, but the fact that you have the type of dudes that would interview these women and then hire them shows you the ineptness of the guys who are working there, because anyone who's got a brain sees some black chick with shaved side heads who definitely, definitely would be out marching in the streets against the white male patriarchy and the systemic racism that doesn't even exist, but has been brainwashed because the broad went to university and was indoctrinated in the cult of post-secondary education in 2024 tells you that those guys working there are beta male morons too who probably identify as non-binary and use they them in their social media and linkedin profiles which is actually a thing it's actually a thing the community manager for call of duty up till recently had a starbucks iced coffee for his profile picture and pronouns in his bio that means you're gay that's the type of people we have working there so the women are not the only problem they are indicative of the type of people they would hire the non-skilled beta male soy boys who work there so when you look at certain things in the world whether it be entertainment government or other decisions being made in other areas that dumbfound you look no further than to the people working there and i guarantee you that the majority of the people working there are either a women or b brainwashed young millennial gen z liberal men think that they donated to black lives matter and help make the difference and trump is evil and think that the Ukraine war is righteous because Russia bad and they can't wait to go line up to get our COVID booster and they are completely indoctrinated and part of the actual leftist Marxist ideology that is permeating through a lot of the entertainment industry. But I have to say the tides are turning. Maybe they, they aren't. Maybe these kids are going to have to get washed out to sea before a new breed comes in, a new generation, whatever is after or before rather Gen Z. I don't know, but it seems that things are changing, but it's going to take a while because these people are definitely, definitely entrenched in a lot of things in the world, and it's going to take a long time to get them out before actually we're going to see a massive swift change. Like I said, things are changing. We have a different cultural shift taking place in the world, and it might be in our 10 years and our decade before we actually get back to some normalcy. Call of Duty 2034 is going to save the franchise, guys. Trust me, in 10 years when Call of Duty 2034 comes out, we're going to have ourselves an amazing game. It's going to be the best. It's going to be everything we ever wanted. Trust me on that. That's called sarcasm. For those idiots out there, by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet and hit that like button, I hope you have a horrible Christmas. If you did hit that like button, subscribe, congratulations. You made an amazing decision, probably the best decision of 2024, and I love you. And with that being said, that's the video. I'm the ghost of Vate. Stay black, question authority, and don't let the honky cracker reptilian shape you after I was seven. They're up at Bahamian Grove, worship Owls Earth was flat, the moon landing was fake, Alice Jones and Bill Hicks and the Florida is turned out of the frogs. Gay white men bring you down.